In this video, we're going to graphically solve this equation. 2 thirds x minus 7 equals 5 minus the quantity 2x plus 3. Now, you could certainly solve this by hand. You could distribute the negative and get x's on one side and so forth. But we want to solve graphically, which means we want to pull out the graphing calculator and use a graph to identify the x value that makes the left side of this equation equal the right side of the equation. Now, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to view the left side of this equation as a function. It is a linear function, 2 minus 7. I'll call that y1. And I'm going to view the right side as the linear equation y2. Now, when we graph these, when you plug x's into the left side, it will give you y1 values. When you plug x's into the right side, it will give you y2 output values. And the one point, one point in the plane, where you plug in x value, and it gives the same height, same x value produces the same y value. That will be the x value that makes the y1 equal the y2. So, what I'm going to do is go to my y equals menu. I put y1 equals 2 thirds x minus 7, the left side. I put y2 equals 5 minus 2x plus 3, the right side. I'm going to go ahead and use a zoom 6, a standard viewing window, negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10. All right, what I see, this line sloping upwards must be y1 because it has a slope of 2 thirds and it's got a y-intercept of negative 7. Now, this line sloping downward must be the y2. If you notice, y2 will have a slope of negative 2. It'll be negative 2x minus 3 plus 5. So it'll be negative 2x plus 2. So it's got a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 2. And I see a point on the graph over here in quadrant 4 where they intersect. That is the point where if you plug in that x value, looks like it's around 3, you will get the same y value on both graphs. It is the point where the two graphs intersect. That's the x value that makes y1 equal y2. That's the x value that solves this equation. So we want to find the place where they intersect. So we're going to hit second, trace, and then we're going to find option 5, which is intersect. And select option 5, intersect. Again, it walks you through steps. It asks you, what's the first curve? It already has your cursor sitting on y1. Remember, you can see that in the top left-hand corner. y1 is 2 thirds x minus 7. That's where your cursor is. And it says, is this the first curve? You say yes. You press enter. It automatically jumps to y2. And you see that in the top left-hand corner. You see your cursor has moved. It says, is this the second curve? And yes, it is. So you press enter. It says, can you give me a guess as to where the intersection occurs? You can move your cursor near that point and press enter one more time. And you know you have it when the bottom of the screen says intersection. And it tells me the point is 3.375 comma negative 4.75. This means when x is 3.375, that will produce a y value of negative 4.75. That will be the y value for y1 and the y value for y2. So the solution to this equation, the x value that makes the left side equal the right side, is x equal 3.375.